Today I'm going to talk to you about the third part of the counting process. Once we have posted to the ledgers, we need to balance them and transfer those balances to the trial balance. Now first of all, I've got to explain to you what a chart of accounts are and the function of a trial balance. So first of all, a chart of account. Um, it's an orderly list where we classify all the ledger accounts into some order. Um, so that can be easily accessed and to make the use of the ledger more efficient. Now, one way of going about doing it relating to a chart of accounts is, okay, let's classify all our assets and have a number in front of them that starts with a thousand. So cash bank might be a thousand, um, accounts receivable might be 1100 and so on. Um, we can also have uh, liabilities. All those liabilities start with 2000 accounts payable, bank overdraft and so forth. Owner's equity is the third in line. They start with the um, number 3000, um, revenues and lastly expenses. So that's just one easy way of organising your ledger into um, five subsections if you like and all, all, every account will have their own account number. But if it's an asset it will have a one in front of it, if it's an expense, it'll have a five in front of it, and so on. Now, let's have a look at what a trial balance is all about. It's a list of all the account balances from a general ledger at a particular date. So usually at balance date, or the end of the month, we organise our postings and get them up to a certain date to find what the final balances of each account are. are. Okay. It helps us check the accuracy of the ledger, because sometimes mistakes can be made um, some of which I'll discuss a little bit later. Now let's look at the procedure to, to actually develop a trial balance. First up, we need to have the heading. I'll show that uh, to you in a practical sense by using an example from the book. So we need a heading. Um, <clears throat> that heading needs to have um, the, the name of the business and trial balance as at the date. Um, then we need to find the balance of each account. We then have to list the balance either on the debit side or credit side. And again, I'll show you that in a practical way using an example from the textbook. Um, then we need to total the debit column and total the credit column. And then we wait with, uh, ten, with, with a bated breath to hope that both sides equal to one another. If they're not equal to one another, um, usually we've made a mistake. Here is a example of a trial balance. You can see um, the name of the business, it's a trial balance as at this date. Um, all the debit balances are on this side, all the credit balances are on that side, and we see the bottom here that um, both the debits equal the credit. So at least in that sense we've done it correctly. But there can still be some mistakes. But let's just look at if it doesn't imbalance, uh, if it's not in balance what happens? What can we do? Well, the first thing is 90 times out of 100 you've done a mistake in your adding up. So um, add up your um, individual items in the trial balance. The second uh, strategy that we can use, we can look for the difference in the balances and just in case we've missed one posting. If the, di if the difference is $1,000 and there was an item for $1,000, obviously that's it. Um, sometimes um, we can look for double the difference if we indeed we've uh, put an item which should be on the credit side on the, on, on, the, uh, on, on the debit side, which means that it's double the mistake. So if we look at the, the difference, if it's $1,000, we then halve it, then there might be an item of $500 that we've incorrectly posted. So there's three strategies here um, to see whether it's not in balance. But even if it is in balance, um, not all errors can be um, dis disclosed. Right? For example, we might have put incorrect amounts on both sides, so it'll still balance even though it's an incorrect amount. The second in a situation where we've got equal um, amounts but are both on the wrong side. So um, that it's going to be still, the balance is still going to balance, but the balance of, uh, of the account is obviously wrong. Uh, we might have made it on the wrong side of the account, so there's a double mistake. Um, <coughs> or um, lastly, we've totally omitted um, the entry, 
which means it's still going to balance, or we've entered it twice. Now that's another possibility. Um, so these are a range of errors which the trial balance does not that disclose, but it certainly um, is a good check to see whether we've done our processes correctly up to a degree. Here we have the data that I generated in the previous tutorial when I showed you how to post from the general journal to um, the general ledger. You would also notice that in the last tutorial I showed you how to balance these accounts and that's in readiness to put these accounts to the trial balance which you see there unfinished um, on the side here. All right. There's one other thing I must talk to you about is that um, for assets, um, capital and liability accounts we have these running balances as I showed you. We have a, a complicating factor in, in the case of wages which is an expense account now expense accounts are, are what we call they get closed off to the profit and loss account All right. so that's done for the purpose that we can calculate the wages expense for every month um, therefore they must be closed off and transferred to that account for the purposes of our accounting you can't actually have the balances brought down um, but what you must do is just put profit and loss in there um, put the same amount of profit um, of wages expense in that column and you'll see here that it's been closed off with these double lined. Similarly with service performed um, we had a credit item over here that gets transferred to the profit and loss account um, for $2,000. Right. And it's just for the purposes of taking it out of these accounts into the profit and loss account so we can calculate the profit. That you don't have to worry about except that when we look at closing off these accounts ready to post them to the trial balance you need to know the protocol that's involved. Okay, now let's begin. All these final balances we're going to transfer the trial balance to see whether we've done our accounting correctly. This is how we go about doing it. So first of all um, I'm going to type in here the, uh, the first account which is called Cash at Bank and we'll notice here that it's got a debit balance of 192 so obviously going to put it in the debit column like that. Right. The next account is capital. I'll type in that account. Um, importantly what we need to notice here that it is a credit balance therefore I must obviously must um, type in $200,000 and this I'm going to keep doing all the way down. You have to be fairly methodical and and organized when doing this. So the next one's motor vehicle. It has got a debit balance of $35,000. Okay. ABC Co is my next account I'm going to be looking at. ABC Co. You'll notice that it's got a credit balance of $28,000. So make sure that you put it on the right side. Otherwise, we're going to make mistakes. And we obviously don't want to do that. Now we come to the wages account. Um, and this may provide a source of um, confusion but let's just think about it it's got a thousand dollars worth of debit on that side and this was just a mechanism to close it off to clean it up ready for the next month so it's still a thousand dollars on the debit side so that's all I'm going to do there all right. the next one is M Johnson that's a debit balance of two thousand dollars here we are, I'm going to put that in. And lastly, we've got services performed of 2000 Remember, that's on the credit side, so therefore um, that's what must go in the trial balance. So the account name is services performed. It's a credit balance. Oops, what happened there? It's equal to that one. Um, and on that side we've got to put in the two thousand dollars. Now I'm ready to total these um, both uh, both of these columns and with a hope that they will balance. So simply um, I'm going to use auto sum tool. I'm going to total all of those, bring that across there and hopefully they're going to be the same. And look at that. 
they are. So um, I've done my processes quickly, notwithstanding other mistakes that I could have done, as I explained to you earlier. But for the purposes of this um, illustration, I have done everything correctly. Uh, and when you check on page uh, 55 in your text, you'll see that that is what is illustrated there. Um, what I've shown you is a step-by-step -step process, and hopefully that's been useful to you. Um, and to see how to generate a trial balance. Um, so in summary, um, in the first part of the process, a transaction occurs, we put it in the general journal, what we saw there, then we post it to the um, general ledger, we balance our general ledger accounts, and those summaries get put into the trial balance here. 